This is uh, Decidex, and uh, we are here again, and we've got a uh, guest, Henry Howie. I'm fine. I'm yes. fine. Frank. Thanks for coming. Uh, this is Decidex. Welcome to the Decidex. It's uh, an, an exclusive internship uh, live uh, show, and um, we are basically focusing on startups, and uh, we know you're doing a lot of things with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the community. And I think we invited you to just come and run for me. We ask you a few questions. How did you start? How did you manage some of the few things? So the topic of today is uh, rethinking equity, company valuation, and strategic partnerships as the way forward for the startups. So there's a way we have so many startups around, but as they start, few of them have mastered <laughs> The, the, the art of understanding equity, shareholding, and few of them also understand strategic partnerships. So, and, and few of them also know how to value their company. And this has become an embargo. And we don't want them to run this hard way. So we can start uh, using this show and then we teach them some few things to consider in the first place. So welcome to the show. And um, tell us a little bit about your, your company, Ared. Uh, thanks, Frank. Uh, so briefly, uh, Ared is a technology company for social good. So what we do is we, we build smart distribution uh, channel in rural areas, semi-urban area, including connectivity solution, offline, online connectivity solution. And uh, we're currently here in Uganda, and we started our expansion uh, this year and more next year will be in three more countries. That's good. And, and how old is the company? Five years. Five years. So, um, and you're an SM, right? Yeah, you know, I'm not big into labels, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, SME, I mean, I like, I like the, the, the culture of SME. Yes. Uh, I don't like the corporate culture, so uh, I, I'm hoping to stay in SME for, for a long time. At least I look at SME as the size of your team. That's what I look at not necessarily as revenue, so it depends how you look at things. Well, uh, so uh, uh, we, we've got so many startups in the country, and because of the uh, system, the, the environment, the infrastructure of the business, uh, there's a way so many young men are starting companies, but uh, there are a couple of things they are not really considering, sometimes not because they are ignoring them, but because they don't know them. So then they come to run them, you know, when it's too late, sometimes when they're exhausted, Sometimes when they're about to give up. And um, so for you, if you had a chance to come back and start, what are a few things that you've realized are so special to start with as a startup? Well, I, now keep in mind, I've been in business for 20 years. So, uh, 20 years? 20 years. So it's, it's not my first uh, rodeo, but it's my first business um, in Rwanda. Most of my business was outside Rwanda. Um, but if I, would, I, if I would do differently, you know, it, it depends what type of business you're trying to do. So build. let's talk about uh, social enterprise and also, you know, profit-making company, but in terms of uh, 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 enterprise. Yes. Yeah, yeah, enterprise. Not so, shopping, not trading. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first of all, you have to have a vision, right? You have to know where you're trying to go as a business. Uh, because when you know where you're going, then you can work your way backwards to know what kind of structure That's you true. can build. Uh, if you're trying to build a big business in Africa, mm. not just in Rwanda, you have to think partnership. Because if you're going to try to set up shop, you know, in all those different countries yourself, it's going to be too expensive. You're going to have That's to true. keep raising money all the time. So what, what would I have done it differently? Uh, I would say I would have started looking for money early on from the beginning. Because that's uh, chasing, I mean, looking for funding is as hard as building your business. That's and um, it's, another, it's another way, it's a different business uh, on its own. The second thing I would have done differently is I would have looked for a CFO uh, to, to, to handle, not just handle the financial, 
but will be in charge of developing the financial projections, the business plan. It's much easier to build a business with a partner in the business than that's do it on your own. Oh, that, that's a good point. You, it's, it's much better